Ever since I started working from home in 2020, I had plans of transporting my bedroom into my home office to better accommodate my workspace as a creative professional. In this video, I'll be talking about how I set up my current desk, my rationale behind choosing the items that I have, and how all this worked together to create a space that invites me in every morning and inspires me to do my best work. So let's get into it. My desk setup for 2022. Let's start with the elephant in the room, the desk itself. I started with designing a couple of options on SketchUp and went with the fixed two legs layout which was easy enough to build and sturdy and clean enough for my liking. Once my design was finalized, I went to a local welder shop and they were happy to make one with the provided dimensions. Once they were ready, I sanded and painted them out and joined the mango wood top using some self drilling screws. I'd love to swap these legs with a motorized standing one at some point but they are very unreasonably priced in the local market. Minimizing visual clutter while maintaining flexibility is a challenge in every desk setup. Cables are necessary evils, and it is always hard to find the right solution to tuck them in. To break the equation, I made a cable management system using a networking cable raceway under the desk. All the devices needing power are connected to a power strip from DZCOM and the excess cables are then neatly tucked into the cable raceway. I can easily take the cover out to add or remove cables and a set of velcro ties and wire holders by the side make sure my desk looks clean and clutter free. The ambient light on my desk is a smart light strip designed by Govi. It's bright, colorful and very practical to use. The built-in controller unit is placed under my desk and is very handy to change color modes or to switch it on or off. It can also be controlled using remote or via the Google Home app on my phone. I'm on my desk for at least 6 hours every day and a proper ergonomics is very essential to make sure I'm free from back pain at the end of the day. I'm rocking an affordable yet sturdy mid-back chair from Geekin. It has a mesh which supports my back comfortably and also keeps me dry during the wet summers as it gets quite humid where I currently live. Talking about the tech side of things, I have two computers which power my workflow now. My custom PC which handles the content creation side of things and the MacBook which handles all the quick and portable tasks that I do on an everyday basis. This custom PC that I built in 2020 was the first ever big investment into my desk setup. While most of the parts are outdated by current standards, it is still powerful enough to quickly render out a few video projects now and then. If you're interested, I've also written a blog post about my desk and linked it in the description box below. One of the newest additions to my desk is the base model MacBook Pro 14 inch. It sits on an aluminium vertical laptop stand that I picked from Amazon. While its steep price point might not be justifiable to all, it has been worth it for me considering its PC level performance on such a portable form factor. For a single cable solution to switch my peripherals between my Mac and PC, I've connected all the devices to a portable USB hub from Aki. I have mounted it under my desk together with a USB-C extension cable which allows me to connect all my peripherals and charge my MacBook at the same time with just one cable for a hassle-free connection. As for my monitor, I'm using Dell's budget line of monitors as the main display for my desk. It is bright and sharp and has very thin bezels around the side giving that modern and clean aesthetic. I have mounted it on a single monitor arm from Amazon Basics, which although is a bit of a pain to adjust, but until I upgrade to an ultrawide later this year, I cannot complain more. The monitor is also connected to both my computers via HDMI at the same time, so I can switch screens with just a press of a button. Sometimes if I want a bigger screen real estate, however, I use my laptop screen on a collapsible aluminum stand by the side. I 
I have been using the MX Master series of mouse for over 4 years now and cannot think of moving to any other ones quite yet. The third generation MX Master that I currently have is comfortable to hold and glides precisely on any surface. It also has a horizontal scroll wheel and programmable buttons with gesture functions to get more work done without depending on the keyboard. The Air 75 keyboard from Newfie is my keyboard of choice at the moment. It is a Gateron Brown low profile mechanical keyboard and is simply a work of art. It is also very satisfying to type on and its portable form factor allows me to move around with it quite easily. I've also reviewed this keyboard on my channel, I'll link the video in the description box below. Both my mouse and keyboard rest on a polyurethane leather desk mat from Scarters. It provides cushion support for my wrist and also reduces the visual clutter for my peripherals and that would be more noticeable otherwise. Together with my peripherals are a pair of speakers from Creative. For just under 30 US dollars, they are an incredible value for money. Their bass is loud and clear, and the Zen Garden Stones inspired round design adds to a very different aesthetic to the setup. On the side is the artificial plant from IKEA together with the charging puck for my watch. I use Audio Technica M30X as my headphone of choice for audio monitoring my video. They are a comfortable set of over-the-air studio monitors which work for basically every situation reasonably well, although the frequency response is not totally spot on. It is a reasonable headphone candidate for a small budget of under 100 US dollars and sits on a locally made wooden headphone stand inspired from an American company called Grovemate. I used Shure's MV7 as a microphone of choice. It sounds great if not as good as its more popular, bigger brother, the Shure SM7B, but for almost half the price, it served me perfectly well to record voiceovers like this, or to talk to my colleagues at work over Zoom or Teams. To bind the setup with my space, I've also added three frames with custom design map of three cities that I've lived in so far. It's Pokhara in Nepal where I was born and grew up in, Kathmandu where I spent a few years of my high school and Bangkok in Thailand where I spent four years of college. So there you have it. These are the items on my desk for 2022 and as always all the links to the products are in the description box below. Until then stay happy and healthy and I'll see you in the next one.